Hey, what's going on YouTube? <laughs> um, this lighting is all right. Um, anybody else uh, a little thankful that uh, Thanksgiving is over? <laughs> um, although across the nation, everybody's like making turkey salad and turkey soup and turkey sandwiches and turkey pot pies and they can doing everything they can with that damn you know turkey but um me on the other hand who don't eat the um i can't i can't say that word on youtube <laughs> i don't eat the um po folk food that's what i call it i just i feel like we've um come so far but we we eat the most comforting foods in excess that makes any sense there i'm sure 90 percent of the people who ate on thanksgiving felt more miserable afterwards than they did prior to eating the food and i'm not here to bash anybody i'm just you know i don't want to be a hypocrite either but um i just i've gotten so over that feeling you know cheesy the best macaroni and cheese you can think of is not not worth how, how you feel after eating it, you know, um, and whatever, you know, so I just quickly like to see the holiday come and go, you know, I like all that being around family and, um, trimming the tree and all of that stuff. That's great, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be around food, you know, because we're hurting. <laughs> and, um, so I quickly went back to my, um, routine of eating how I eat. You know, um, and I just, you know, I have a different palate now. I don't, I don't really want stuff in and dry or dressing and macaroni and cheese and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm trying to, trying to eat a much better way. So what I have today is some spicy, um, vegetables and, um, rice noodle. And I have spicy crab roll. And it has the, um, like the uh, mayo drizzle on it. <sighs> I think I'm going to pay for eating that, you know, because I don't eat dairy, but I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it. I hope <laughs> I'll be okay. So I have my little wasabi. I love wasabi. I kind of like put it on all of them. across the top. I also forgot my chopsticks. I was rushing. I was out one thing and I decided to get me some some lunch. I love the uh, <clears throat> pickled ginger. So it has crab cucumber and of course the rice and seaweed I am butchering this <clears throat> but it's good is there anybody else who has a hard time finding things to eat when you go out if you're so-called eating better, you know? I don't know what to get sometimes. And this Chinese food, I can eat this all day, every day. But I know there has to be something other than a salad, which I eat on my, my um, you know, regular diet. I eat salad all the time. But when you want to eat out, like, you know, what do you, what do you go to? I've already explained how much I love a noodle.
Let's talk about Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Other than food, of course. <laughs> and what we're thankful for. Um, I guess one thing that I'm thankful for is being in my sane mind, you know. Um, there's so many people out here who struggle with mental mental health issues and um, the ability... Um, they don't have the ability to self-regulate and they they pass as being normal or okay but all the while they're struggling to um maintain you know and i say this having experience dealing with people who struggle with bipolar or possibly schizophrenia um and um all their life trying to, you know, maintain this level of normal, but not really ever getting the help that they need for their level of um, comprehension or, or understanding. Um, and it's sad because the world has no, um, uh, what I want to say, what word? sympathy empathy or whatever the word you want to use you know kind of like moles over people like that and get kind of get lost in the sauce or if you're somebody with bipolar you just get labeled with um anger issues you know if you especially have those manic moments where you're just like snapping and you know and um it's just rough to go through life undiagnosed with um a mental mental health issue um and I find that it's more in urban environments, rather you're black, you know, Hispanic, you know, you're less likely to get diagnosed properly. And you're in this world being labeled incorrectly. And, um, it's rough, and especially for the people who might love somebody who you see suffering, but you really don't know what to do for them specifically, you know, and, um, it's rough. So I still like to say that I'm thankful for having a sane, clear mind because it wasn't promised that it would be that way. You know, it could have been anyway. It could have been so many other ways, but I have a clean, clear mind and I'm thankful for that because it could have been so much worse, you know? Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity to go out here and buy whatever I want to eat, you know, where some people are struggling just to eat anything, you know? Can you imagine having a food allergy? But you can't even afford boy, a slice of bread, so you're you're just eating anything you can get your hands on, you know. I actually have the ability or the means to 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 um even even um cater to my um dietary needs. And I'm thankful for that, you know. This time of year is a time where we should be reflecting on all that um, the universe has allowed us to have. So, what are you all thankful for?
This is my favorite <clears throat> sparkling water. I can drink these all day. You know, I try to stay away from carbonated beverages, but sometimes you just need that little bit of um fizz. It kind of like helps you settle your food. I don't know if it's because of the bubbles or what, but these are really good. Perrier. Um, yeah, they, these are these are really good. They're they're great with um food. Um, because, like I said, I don't know if it's that little bit of agitation from the bubbles, but it really su helps settle your stomach, just as you would do with the ginger ale. Ale, this really kind of like mellows things out. Um, without having the extra calories, so um, I, I like these. They have the orange, which is good. I like the um, watermelon because I'm black, you know. Um, <laughs> um, and they have a lime, I think, and they have just a, a regular, regular one. They're all they're all good. They don't have any flavor. The essence that smell it it just gives you a satisfaction like a, like just that citrusy smell but it really does it doesn't have any calories so it's a win win um yeah i'm eating slow i got to hurry up i savor the moment so good All right, so Thanksgiving now, Christmas, slowly coming up <clears throat> for people who struggle with eating and being around large quantities of food. It's like, <sighs> um, oh, you know what I want to talk about? I'm thinking about doing the um, big salad challenge. I just don't know what kind of salad I want to eat. Romaine's killing people out here, so it ain't about to have no romaine lettuce in it. <laughs> Although that might be really interesting. The survival of the salad, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not even about to risk my life like that. Um, so, what kind of salad should I eat? I don't know. I don't want no pasta salad. Um, I was thinking like a spinach salad spinach leaf um maybe a little avocado um some cherry tomatoes little olive oil um lime juice um i don't know it has to be a large amount so i don't want to eat too much of um, avocado so maybe just a spinach salad with like a light little oil vinegar dressing um who knows For all you people out here with that Thanksgiving in your system, find yourself a salad. <laughs> as long as it's not romaine. Kale salads are good for you. Maybe a kale salad. Like a finely chopped kale salad. But you gotta massage the leaves, make them tender, you know. <laughs> I finally went out in the backyard yesterday and... Cleaned up the um, urban garden space that I have out there. I typically go, grow kale and tomatoes and stuff. It's amazing how the space looks so beautiful in the summertime, but then the wintertime comes and it looks like complete and utter chaos. Just leaves and twigs everywhere. But that's the beauty of it. It like dies and then. Like a phoenix, it rises from the ashes next year. So, I look forward to um, 
being out there in the dirt next year. I've begun to do some more painting, so I was thinking about my channel is um a hodgepodge of all kinds of stuff would adding like painting be too much of a different turn you know because that's something that is a part of me and I've already explained that my channel is an eclectic space of who I am so you know should I incorporate that or, or not let me know if you've made it this far in this <clears throat> long ass video I do mixed medium painting, which means I I use acrylics, um, oil, all different types of paints. I, I add things to my work like different textiles and different um, pigments and you know metal and all kinds of stuff. So. The finished products are always very unique. Often imitated, never duplicated. <laughs> As I say, because, you know, people look at your work and say, I could do that. I'm like, go for it. <laughs> you know, whereas my work may have things in it that are found objects or something that's one of a kind you can create something inspired by my work but you definitely can't duplicate my work it, it's some things take three months some things could take three years to complete because it's always an ongoing conversation with myself and the piece you know it's never finished for me there's very few pieces that I would have ever considered to be finished I've stopped and said they're done but I always feel like I could add more go further you know it's a conversation that never actually stops Can I make this video in 20 minutes? Because <laughs> I didn't intend for it to be this long, but. spicy I did want to put some hot sauce on this but I ran out I eat hot sauce like it's literally going out of style I love all kinds of hot sauces. <clears throat> I've come to find that that's a common thing. I think a lot of people are more open to trying spicy foods these days. You know, being a little bit more experimental with their diets, which is encouraging because... 
I know this is America, but there's only so many burgers and fries and cheesesteaks and sandwiches that you can eat, you know? I like that people are eating Thai and Korean and Vietnamese, Vietnamese and Indian food, you know, and just really um, broadening their palates, you know? It's just a lot of good cuisine out here. Um, me personally, I like Filipino food. Where I live, it's very hard to get. But, I can make it myself sometimes. <clears throat> the last piece. Thank you all for joining me. <clears throat> I hope you had a fantastic holiday. Uh, surrounded with, surrounded by the ones you love, you know? And even the ones you don't really love so much. <laughs> um, peace and blessings, and until next time.